Well, here we are, back in the lab again, and another filmed version, if you will, of one of the demos I like to do in class. One of the most important skills that we in chemistry have to master is how to count things, how to count our molecules by weighing them. Yes, the world of moles and Avogadro's numbers. And I like to illustrate the point by basically saying, how many Smarties are in this bag? There's a bunch of candies in here. How many are in here? I am going to actually have them count them all up, but first we're going to start weighing things. So let's go over to the good scale and start working on that. So what you do is you take some of your Smarties and some sort of container, I like this styrofoam cup, put it in there, and of course we're going to zero out the weight of the styrofoam cup. And I'm going to grab just 12 Smarties. We're going to weigh a dozen of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, one dozen Smarties here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We put them in there. And we weigh them. And we have our first measurement, 5.785 grams per dozen Smarties. And of course, we dutifully write that down in our notebook. And then we take those out and we grab 12 more. And of course, we have to repeat our measurements a couple of times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Weigh those smarties. Put in those smarties. And dutifully write it down. And of course, comes the big one. Now, we weigh all the Smarties. So all they go into our container. Oh, isn't that beautiful? And put that in there. And we let it weigh. And of course, we write it down. And then, of course, we say, unlike atoms or molecules, which are too small to count individually, we can, of course, count the Smarties. Now, yeah, I wasted a lot of time making them, arranging them all in this nice, pretty pattern here. Usually what I do is I just grab handfuls and put them on uh, various tabletops out there and have the students count them up and add it all together. So we have 100, 200, 300, 300, and 39 of them uh, laid out here in front of us. So that's the actual number of Smarties by actually directly counting them. Now let's see how many we would have counted by weighing. Now let's use the mass data to count our Smarties, which in the long run is actually going to be a lot easier to do than individually counting the things. So first I want to look at the uh, measurements we made on measured a dozen Smarties three different times, and let's look at those data. Here they are. Now, these are the three measurements we made, and I'm symbolizing Smarties with the letter ST. Of course, I should use SM, but of course, we already took that one, that samarium on the periodic table, so I'll have to use a different symbol. I'll use ST. What the heck? Let's average these together, and we get this value, 5.765 grams per dozen Smarties. With that information, we can start calculating the actual number of Smarties based upon the mass of Smarties that we measure. So here we go. We started with 163.506 grams of Smarties. That's what they all weighed after we take, took out the weight of the styrofoam container. Now, we know that grams to dozen Smarties that's going to be 5.765 grams 
a smart use per dozen. And then that's our measured value. And of course, what we're after is not how many dozen Smarties there are in there. We're after the actual number. So away we go. We just use the definition of dozen. And I'll just usually say 12 is the number of anything and one dozen. And to be honest with you, yep, that's playing the role of moles in our type of calculation here. So we punch that out on our calculators. And I came out with 340 Smarties. So by weighing them, we came out with 340. By actually physically taking them and counting them, we came up with 339 Smarties. I don't know if I lost one in the transfer someplace. Maybe, maybe we're just ever so slightly off. Um, of course, we only took a small sample of Smarties and measured them. Um, but, you know, we, this took much less time than it did to actually sit there and physically count them. Especially when you're, a, you know, when you're a ding dong and want to arrange them in pretty little cubes and squares and all that fun stuff. Well, what the heck? So there you go. Weighing things to count things. That is so important when we do chemistry. Whenever we go to the balance in the lab, we are always essentially counting the number of atoms, ions, and molecules that we are putting into our samples. The numbers are critically important. They're too small. We can't actually physically count them. The numbers are too huge to work with. But we can weigh them, and weighing is easy. Weighing is one of the simplest things we do. If we can relate the weight of these things to the number of these things, we can count them with a great deal of accuracy. That's kind of a cool demo. I like doing that one with a class. So I hope you enjoyed it, looking at it in video form. Stay safe and healthy, everyone. We'll talk to you later. Hey, folks have a quick addendum for you on this one. A couple of days after I shot the video and as I was nearing completion on the editing of this thing, just about ready to upload it, I was down here in the lab doing some cleanup because, let's face it, uh, lab cleanup is one of my passions. And as I was working down here on the bench top, and I had gathered up all of the Smarties into the bag here and about to put everything away, when I actually noticed sitting behind this faucet right here, oh my goodness, there was another Smarty. One of them, as I had laid them all out here and started arranging the, 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 the big piles here, had gotten away from me. And I know what you're thinking. I know what this means. There really were 340 Smarties laid out here, that, that not the 339 that I had originally shown. Do you also realize that means the calculation of the 340 Smarties by mass was exactly correct? I know what you're thinking is, this guy is really good, and it's true. It's just this sucker got away from me. So, you know, there it is. So he really did have 340 Smarties. So let's put this thing in its proper spot. So there it is, counting things by weighing them. It can be done pretty readily and quite accurately, in fact. So there you go. The addendum to it makes it even a happier story than before. Stay safe and healthy, everyone. We'll talk to you later.